and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video over there for some Demir Itrada. That's right, we are finishing up our last Tuesday Bruise Day deck that we didn't get to yesterday because we played some long leagues. So that's what we're going to start with today. The challenge was to build a deck around Itrada the Silencer. First, I guess if you don't know Tuesday Bruise Days, where we build around rares and mythics that don't see very much play. But this, I, we also got, I also got a donation, so it kind of fitted in there with it to build a deck around Itrada the Silencer. This is kind of a tough one, and you can kind of see our, our decks a little, a little all over the place. But let's talk about it. So we got four mana, three five. Itrada the Silencer can't be blocked. That's you know. It's a good ability. And then whenever you try to deal combat damage to a player, and it can't be blocked, so basically whenever you attack, you deal damage to the player, then you get to exile a creature they control and put a hit counter on that card. So that's awesome. However, and then that player loses the game if they own three or more exile cards with hit counters. Still awesome. However, the bad part, Itrata's owner shuffles Itrata into their library. So then you have to shuffle Itrata back into your library. So then you have to, you know, try to draw Etrata again and play it again, and it doesn't have haste, so wait another turn, and then hit your opponent, and then exile one of their creatures, and then shuffle it back, and so on. So that process is probably not going to happen in standard. I don't, I don't expect that we'll ever win a game with our opponents getting three uh, creatures with hit counters on them. That's probably just not going to happen. So... That doesn't mean that we keep, the card's not playable. It's still a 4-mana 3-5 is an awesome blocker, especially, you know, in blue-white, or sorry, in blue-black. So awesome blocker against aggro. Um, you know, just really, you know, huge toughness there. But then also, um, the another good thing about it is, or like, so then, to, to, you know, it's still unblockable 3 damage, like whenever it's uh, hitting, and it's also exiling a creature. So, you know, it's still kind of like removal. So we want to treat this as like removal, and we also want to, the three damage to matter so we don't want to be too controlling because we want the three damage to matter so we got kind of like a, a mid-range creature deck here so you know we're, we're going to be trying to do damage with diva sanity and Etrata in here getting that damage to uh, matter um so we got some some other mid-range creatures we got midnight reaper that can you know uh draw us cards murderous rider i guess this is a midnight uh mid-range creature but it's also just removal uh doom whisper is a really powerful five drop Kefnet, uh, also another good mid-range creature. Um, Kefnet and Doom Whisper work really well together, where Doom Whisper can set up your top card of your library for your Kefnet. So that's that's a pretty cool combination there. So Mentor the God Eternals, which are basically mid-range creatures. You know, like these are five mana four fours that are also removal. So we can kind of pair it with our four mana creatures that are removal. And of course, Enter the God Eternals works perfectly with Kefnet. Um, and then we have I'm going to play a couple Lazav. Because, or sorry, we're playing one Lazav here. Because Lazav could be pretty awesome of, if we have any of this stuff in our graveyard, you know, we can instant speed turn it, turn Lazav into these other cards. You know, we can spend three mana on their end step and turn Lazav into a Thief of Sanity. And then suddenly they're they're facing down a Thief of Sanity that they may not have realized. Um, you know, we can turn it into a Kefnet, into an Etrata, a Doom Whisper, um, even a Midnight Reaper. There's, there's some really good cards, even a Spectral Sailor. You know, spend one mana, turn Lazav into Spectral Sailor so you can start drawing more cards. Honestly, maybe I should have a second Lazav in here, because I feel like there's a lot to do with Lazav, um, and that these are all like pretty good hits for Lazav. You know, like having, you know, if we, if it's hard to get three hit counters with Etrada, maybe Lazav can kind of help out, because you can have each, even though Etrada is legendary, you can have Etrada and Lazav that's a copy of Etrada on the battlefield at the same time. Um, but then also, you know, if you have the Etrada in the, in the graveyard, you know, you hit. You can, you can get another uh, hit counter on your opponent by attacking with a Lazav that is um, copied as an Etrada. Um, yeah, the yeah double strike wouldn't really work. Yeah, it, yeah, double strike. If you give Etrada double strike, it'll like the trigger will happen and it'll get shuffled back. So double strike doesn't really work. Uh, besides that, we got like some just removal, discard, counter magic. You know, just some. Some good quality blue black spells. But I'm gonna try Teferi's Time Twist also. This is basically you can you can kind of think of this card as uh dive down. You know, like this is basically gonna be dive down, but then 
it exiles the creature until the next end step, so it doesn't get to be in combat anymore. But then it comes back with an additional what, plus one, plus one counter. Obviously, Oko is always a problem for mid-range creature decks. and But I could I could imagine, like, <clears throat> you know, they Oko my Thief of Sanity. Um, or, you know, an Atrada or a Kefnet or something like that. And so then during their turn, we Teferi's Time Twist them. Like at the end of like their second main, so that it comes back at end step as you know like a, a regular three five. Well, it'll get a counter on it. So like Thief of Sandy will come back as a three three, which is even better. Or this comes back as a four six and then can get some more damage in. I don't know. We'll we'll kind of just try it out. I like trying out new cards. Um, and then you know we got a whole bunch of interaction, blue black interaction depending on the matchup. And I think Spectral Sailor is just an underrated card. I think even just like a deck that goes bigger like this, even though you're playing a one one, just like the, having the ability to pay four mana draw a card is really nice. And you know it's a flyer. I really like Spectral Sailor. All right, so let's let's get going. Let's go ahead and play through a league here with Demir Itrata, and see how our deck does. Hopefully we can pick up a couple wins. <clears throat> yeah, Blade. That all right? So yep, Blade. That would work. Um, I will do. Yep, that would work, Blade. Um, other questions: Is Quasi Dupla Ooze still playable? It's. It may need to, you know, it may need to get updated. But honestly, you could probably make something like that in this meta game. We'll probably make a quasi dupla ooze deck, especially if if there's some way to flicker, you know, like Teferi's Time Twist. So like if Biogenic Ooze gets turned into an elk, we could flicker it and get it to reset, kind of thing. I am I am ready for Halloween. I have my hollow I got a Halloween tie. I bought a couple of things off of Etsy that I know y'all would like. So I we I got a Halloween tie and I got a a hat for Hawkeye. You know, like a, a wizard hat for Hawkeye. Um how do I decide how many lands to run? For the most part, usually like in, in standard, 25 is a pretty good number of lands to run for for just a regular mid-range deck. Um, if you have like a lower curve, you can run less. If you have if you really need more lands, you can run more, kind of thing. But for the most part, that's a, a good number to run. Um, I have not have I had any success with Grixis lately. Not particularly, but I haven't played a ton of Grixis uh, recently. We did play Grixis mid-range somewhat recently, and that went pretty well. And then also Grixis Knights did pretty well as well. <laughs> no, Hawkeye's not going trick-or-treating. It's for, for the stream. Hey. So he can be a wizard. I haven't tried. I haven't uh, put it on him yet. It, it looks really big for a hat, but I haven't. I haven't uh, tried it at all yet. Hey, good evening, Gnarius. Bleh. All right, so we have Legion's Ed for Krasis, but the, you know they get to draw another card. Thankfully, the Field of the Dead's their only lands. They're only drawing one card if they play Krasis, not two. Yeah. Yep. Yep, Wander. Yeah, I have a dog too. I have I have two dogs. I have Puppy and Harvey are my two dogs. Harvey's a bigger dog. Um it's it's a lot harder to have Harvey join the stream, but yeah.
Hey, Matu. I'm doing good. Hope you're doing good. Yeah, Thief got some new animations. Uh, that was a really bad turn for me. So obviously, Grazer blocks Thief. And their land was a, a dual land, so they get two zombies. So I don't really want to play these things into Realm Cloak Giant, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping they would just play Realm Cloak Giant and I would bounce my Thief. Yeah, I feel like it is worth it to kill the, the Grazer as well. And normally, that wouldn't be the case. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm going to do. We're going to play the Midnight Reaper here. Midnight Reaper doesn't block two twos. So my, my opponent isn't too incentivized to use the Realm Cloak Giant. They have two two twos. I have a two two and a three two. <laughs> it is frustrating to keep... Yeah, the ban list goes into effect tomorrow, so it's frustrating to keep playing against this deck. We did yesterday. It's just like... We just play against other decks. I don't, I don't want to play against this deck that's it's already banned. It's frustrating. So it better play Kefnet or Etrada. Etrada doesn't have an animation. I mean, we're here to play Etrada. So that's what that's what I'm doing. Plus, it like my opponent's only two cards are two creatures, and it kind of keeps them from playing the creatures if we have this Etrada. Oh yeah, that's that's also true. Loose that the people that built the deck. I can I completely understand them wanting to get the the last use out of their cards that they spent wild cards on. They're probably not going to be using too much anymore. Not to buy. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Glad to hear that, Exerbs. Glad to hear that. Um, questions. What's the uh, the Soul Type builds, which one has seemed the strongest so far? And I'd say probably the that last one that we just played. Gross. All right. T please create a vampire deck for tomorrow, third slot. I actually have... All right, so we're gonna make a vampire deck for tomorrow. Um, I actually have like third slot tomorrow is actually filled. I actually have. Oh no no! Oh, I didn't mean like my turn. Oh darn it! I meant to play that once upon a time. It's unfortunate. So okay, there you go. Second slot. I was gonna say that's that's the only don't that's the only slot that I have at all right now. So okay, cool. Second slot works. Do you have any preference on colors or leaving that up to me?
All right, so there's, we got one hit counter. We have, we have done the thing. I think that's the first time I've ever gotten a hit counter. I think, I think that's the first time I've played Etrada in standard. Come on. Wait, no, yeah, you go to the third on top first. Well, Once Upon a Time is cool with Etrada. So that's cool. <clears throat> yeah, we could go Spark Double to copy it. I, I just think that that, that could be kind of kind of tough to pull off kind of thing. I didn't, I didn't go with the Spark Double. Ugh, another fetch land that gets four zombies? Come on. Okay, we're kind of doing it. We got two hit counters on stuff. It would be help if we stopped drawing lands. It would help my opponent stop drawing these Fabled Passages at a good time. Let's draw a regular land. Not something that makes four zombies. Uh, I mean, depends on the scenario if three life is worth an extra card. Uh, I guess if you're, if you're talking about here for this scenario, for me, most likely, yeah. I'm going to kind of wait, see what happens here. But I have one extra Legion's End here. I don't even have any Ashioks on my sideboard because I, I built this deck with Field of the Dead being banned in mind. That's completely ridiculous. We're just leaving off. We're just starting where we left off yesterday with the Rakdos deck. Like what's what's going on here? Why is it just all lands? Cool. That's great. All right, so I get one more Legion's End, a couple of Disdainful Strokes. Another Negate. Yeah, ever want the, the deck, Joker, just do exclamation point deck. Yeah, there's 25 lands, and we saw like 13 and 20 cards. Hmm. Downfall Exiles Golos.
Teferi's Time Twist is pretty awesome against their sweepers. Hmm. Alright, we need to cut one more card. Kind of discovery, I guess. Um, honestly, I haven't really decided if I'm doing brawl tomorrow. I guess, I guess so. I'll, I'll probably be doing some brawl tomorrow. I have, I have two donation decks to do tomorrow. So maybe we could do two Brawl decks with the other two slots. And then uh, Friday's 5-0 Friday. And then sat this Saturday is Sub Battle Saturday. So, uh, you know, we're going to be playing against subscribers all day Saturday. And then that would mean we'd be waiting until Sunday. But then Sunday we could do the anti-Oko decks. I know a lot of people have been wanting anti-Oko decks. So I, I kind of wanted to do that right away. But we do have the two donation decks to get to as well. Hey, hey Diva4. Thanks for keeping that Twitch Prime sub going. I appreciate that. So that's that's a little a little ways to wait. Yeah, right. Right now, you'll be able to play Brawl for the whole week, but yeah, only only being able to play it once a week after today is very disappointing. So yeah, that's that's a little bit of time to wait for the anti Oko deck. Plural. The other, the other thing is I could just skip five O Friday and do it on do it on Friday. Teferi is such a beating against Kefnet. I think we really should keep up counter magic for Golos. They top deck it. Darn. Well, no, 5 0 Friday is where I play 5 0 deck list from Magic Online. Like, you know, find, like, the interesting 5-0 list from the, uh, and try out some new decks. Hmm. Blue Jin with the sub. Thank you so much there, Blue Jin. I appreciate that resub there. Uh, 
All right, we're gonna play this thing. Come on, do not. No, are you kidding me? Uh, how, how can life get any worse? I've played a lot of mono green decks, Escoria. We've played mono green probably like four times, including just a, a couple of days ago. Hey, Kenpachi. All right, so we need to silence Golos. Rooster, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. But of course, we don't want them to be activating Golos. Um... Nope. Don't play this card. There we go. Play this one. We're still in it. We're in a great spot. That, that wasn't so bad. Because we got to, you know, we had the silencer out there. I was thinking that we had no removal for the Golos, but I forgot we had the silencer. So yeah, I guess my opponent immediately conceding. Okay. I, I don't, yeah, right now I don't have any plans to play Mono green again. Oh, you're welcome, Rooster. Well, thank you. So pro probably won't be soon when it, for me to play mono green again. Hmm. Maybe maybe for Monday, maybe maybe best of one one day Monday. Uh next set release, I don't I don't know the exact date, but it's probably like late January. That's usually whenever the, the next set is released. You know, there's four sets a year. It's usually like January, April, July, and October. That's a really slow hand. Liliana doesn't really do anything. Time Twist isn't doing anything here. We're kind of on a five card hand. And Mulligan. This looks better. What am I putting back? I guess one of the Legion's ends, I guess. I think that's what we have to do. Yeah, for the next 12 hour stream, um, we are currently at. We're currently at 13 sub goals towards it. 13 out of 20. So we need seven more sub goals. So one more sub. Um, one more sub for this sub goal. And then six more sub goals after that. <laughs> it's okay, Kenpachi. Whenever, whenever you can. You know, like there's no, no rush. Hugo! Thank you so much there, Hugo. Getting us there for sub goal achieved. Let's write that down. So we don't forget about it. Do I want double black or double blue? Double black is like murderous rider. Don't think I have too much. Double blue is Kefnet. 
probably want double black. Double blue helps out with counter magic, though. All right, I'm going to update our our sub goals and that that number you can always find in the info panels like the info panels we have we have you know it says you know it's, it says stuff about like patreon youtube all that kind of stuff there's one for the 12 hour stream goals Are you able to time twist Etrata after combat damage, but before she gets shuffled back? I think, uh, I think so. I'm not exactly sure how that works. Um, I am really sorry to hear that lucky sea lion. Um, I do not know how that works, honestly. I, I don't know the answer to your question, Lucky Sea Lion, honestly. Countering my Thief of Sanity. Unfortunate. This game's worked out pretty well for my opponent. The Veil of Summer, Mystical Dispute, Double Field of the Dead. Um... I don't think I legions end that thing. I, even though we could take more crisis, and that's that's always really nice to get more crisis out of their hand. But I think the the threat of double field of the dead over here means that we don't get to. Whoa, blade. That is so kind of you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that, Blade. So we have five new subscribers there. Um, Hazuki, Bishter, Bushi, Nofe, and Chepe. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Okay, so if I play, so if I play disdainful stroke, I don't have counter magic up anymore. I think I'm just going to pass. If I draw one more land, I could have Doom Whisper with a counter spell. You know, legions and the crisis just to see their hand. A little worried about the zombies if I do that. But maybe I should do that. I'm not playing anything else. Hey, Joker is getting a sub. So my counter spell resolved very quickly. So I don't think they have counter magic for Doom Whisper, but again, if they're just willing to throw out the Golos like that, they probably have more. Golos is. 
That's why beating Field of the Dead is really tough. And why I was banned, because yeah, I can't I can't do anything about them just playing lands. They just don't have to play any spells. So I don't have two counter spells up. Oh, they so yeah, an island. They didn't even get. I mean, do they only have those basics? Because yeah, they didn't get a, a different land. So they didn't get more zombies. That was convenient. All right. Well, at least they're out of these once upon a time cards. Used all four of those. That was really a waste to attack with these two two twos because like. Those did nothing together. Uh, Field of the Dead is is banned. That's the only card that was banned. <laughs> You're facing each other right now, OC. That's crazy. I'm kind of surprised they attacked with Crisis there. I mean, obviously they're they're trying to kill me, but yeah, you know, like Crisis just. Keeping Crisis back means that Thief doesn't do anything. Okay, well, they have that too. And no, we don't have any chance here. Hey, Storm. Feels as though blue has a shot. Yeah, blue is a very good color in standard right now. Yay, we're still playing against Field of the Dead, even though it's banned. Yay. So much fun. Um, if we would play this in a, in a real Field of the Dead, the Field of the Dead was actually legal, uh, we'd probably want a whole lot of Ashiox in this deck. But it's not really legal, so... I mean, I guess we have to play against it today. Hey, what's up, Storm? Hmm. 
Hmm. Guess we'll just do this. We get information on what we want to do with the other one. Alright, so a couple of Chandras. Might as well. So our Kefnet's a 4-5, which is a good, a good power at attacking Chandra. But of course they can zero Chandra to put counters on Chandra. Maybe we should have just played Fabled Passage there to shuffle. Okay, didn't get mana for the 4 mana Chandra. That's good for me. Um, the name doesn't sound familiar for to me, so I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna reveal Etrada the Silencer. How how often do you get to reveal Etrada the Silencer? Wow, Etrada too strong. Just had to scoop it up. All right, disfigures, Legion's End. Could play Elder Spell and negate, I think, Midnight Reaper. Liliana's a little slow. Midnight Reaper, not necessarily the best either. Would I rather play negate or Elder Spell over anything else? Do I actually want Teferi Time Twist? Probably rather have Negate than Time Twist. We did see two Chandras from them. Maybe I should play Elder Spell instead of the third Negate. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay. Hey, Bleeding Black. Ow. I'd be sad if something happened to these Ginger Brutes. Are they going to shock their ginger brute? Keep the other one alive? Okay. That's fine. So we got rid of a ginger brute and a shock. It's a pretty good trade. Hmm. not mine. So they get to attack for two, but then we're going to be gaining two back with Ryder having lifelink. Okay, good. I, was say, I don't think they're playing like risk factor. Like, where it would be bad to mill over their cards. But, yeah, we got Chandra, Torbrand, Torbrand. Uh, they still drew another Chandra. That's Living Still, that's five spells in a row. Like, they're going to have to start hitting some lands here at some point. But, I mean, it's pretty GG. Okay. 
No cavalcade for them. Yeah, we're one and one. Demiri Trotta on the board. That was a very good curve for me. This one's a little, a little slow with having to just use these discoveries early. Discovery is like an awesome card later when you have like a lot of mana. Using it early to set up your your turns can be a little slow. Is it Gilgate? What do we got going on over here? Midnight Clock. The Once and Future King. And Chandra's Triumph. I feel like if I just take Midnight Clock, they just once in Future King back the Midnight Clock. So we might as well take that. What's up, P. Jelly? You're eating some KFC? That sounds good. That sounds pretty good. Kefnet battle. Um, Demir is not like a mate, not great in the meta game. The tough part is everybody's playing a bunch of Vale of Summers. It's a, it's a really tough part for Demir. Um, but we don't really have like a, we don't really have too much of a determined meta game yet with the new set. Man, I do not know what's going on. I do not know what is going on over here. Now we have elementals. I hope they don't draw removal for my thief, because then my thief can take their God Eternal Kefnet. Yeah, 
Now the elemental, midnight clock, Kefnet. Ah! Ah, that thing blocks Thief and draws the God Eternal Kefnet. Oh, what a, what a draw! Man, that was a that was a really good quality card to have. That gets me to my Kefnet. So what does this clock do? So whenever it gets a, a counter each upkeep and they can also spend three mana to put a counter on it and then whenever the 12th counter is put onto it they shuffle their hand and graveyard into their library and draw seven cards which i don't have any way to get it off the battlefield so they're gonna be drawing seven cards here pretty soon which is probably gonna let them win this We'll see. That Cloud can see her draw. That was brutal. They can spend six mana and draw more cards. Why they only draw one card? Oh, because of Kefnet. I'm definitely attacking with Murderous Rider and with Kefnet. If I attack out, they block Thief. You know, Cloud Seer blocks Thief. Hey, Baloney Pony. Hmm. I'll just attack there. Yeah, we haven't we haven't had time to really um, figure out what the top tier decks are with field, but but it certainly looks like you know the Oko decks to start with for sure. It, what? It's rude. I recently started playing Magic. Currently have fun playing the drafts for 5,000 gold. Good. That's a good place to spend your drafts on. Or your gold on. Um, okay, yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, so real good question there, Eames. Uh, basically, 
if you yeah if you're so you're thinking about crafting like your first deck um you know i would kind of recommend you know just kind of taking a look at at all the the regular decks that people play over there on mtg goldfish like a linked there so you, you can kind of see that and see if something piques your interest um but if you're trying to build your own deck, um, you know, like if you have a, a deck idea that you really want to to build or anything like that, um, and of course, I guess also besides that, I guess I could also say on this channel, you know, like I've I play, you know, different, you know, four like different decks like every single day, and so you know, just kind of going to the like my YouTube video section and see if there's anything. You like anything there that that really interests you and you know that you have cards more cards for that you've collected over your time and all that kind of stuff uh besides that um other other um information to look at is the level one course that was written by reed duke there that there's also there's a link in the info part of arena also but i put a link to it there that also kind of helps um, explain the deck building process among a whole lot of other things that hopefully that's a good resource as well My opponent's down to 27 cards in library. They reshuffled, but then we did mill eight cards with the Enter the God Eternals. Blood of Tears plus Mass Manipulation? Those two don't really seem to work too well together. If I let this resolve, I mean, I get my Kefnet back. They can still cast it again, probably, but I'll force them to tap out. play a land and play Flood of Tears again if they want. <laughs> they have no land drops? Again, Scampering's quarterback. Are they just going to mill out? No, they're getting... Yeah. No, we haven't gotten any, any Trata kill. We did get... We got two counters. We got two hit counters with Etrata in one game. That was cool. Yeah, that mono blue deck. 
Um, I would recommend that one. That's a, that's a good recommendation for um, a budget deck. It has four mythics with the Brazen Borrowers, but then besides that, you don't really need any other rares. <laughs> yeah, blue can be tough. Down to 10 cards. Especially if, if we find removal for this Kefnet here, and then I get to hit with Thief of Sanity, mill another three cards. Yes, put a counter on the Cloudkins here. Do it. Cloudkins here. Darn. Hey, I'm doing good, Gustavo. <clears throat> Alright, so they're at nine cards left in a library. They're discarding all the their cards right now. It's it's tough like when you have that many cards in hand trying to click on enough cards to discard. They have 17 in hand, so they have to discard 10 of them. That was like the perfect draw. That was an amazing draw. Why, Arena, why are you being so slow? <sighs> Gilded Goose. I could just play the Goose. Oh, they didn't, they didn't block. Ooh. That card's pretty cool. So if I if I do play Kefnet, then I could go Krasis for three. Or I could just play a huge Krasis. Go Krasis for like six. It may be better to have the two blockers. I kind of want to do Crisis for six. Mm, that's unfortunate. Ideally, it would have drawn like Legion's End to pair with that. Um, yes, they discarded Flood of Tears. Yes, they discard Flood of Tears. If you haven't heard of me, then get ready to meet my flame. Um, yeah, no, that's, yeah, you could definitely do that, Eames. Um, the, no you know, experienced players will, will see through, will see through that, will see through you just holding up 
a land, you know, like the extra mana with like a land in hand, but you can certainly do that. They had a crazy amount of cards. Not enough library, though. Another win for Etrata. <clears throat> hmm. Basically, everything in my sideboard, like, it's all reasonable. Like, everything in my sideboard could, could do work. So just putting together like the best cards that we want. There's there's not a card on my sideboard that's useless. I think disdainful strokes better than negate. That's an upgrade there. I don't think I necessarily need Noxious Grasp. I'm going to run the rest back, honestly. I kind of like the cards that we have. Like, I, I like how Tyrant Scorn bounces. So they steal my creatures. I can bounce. Yeah, um, Voodoo, I'd recommend uh, probably Grixis Midrange. I don't know if I can... I'd recommend this deck, but we, we talked about changes at the at the end of the video. But as far as Grixis goes, that's that's my best Grixis deck right there. But but yeah, of course at the end of the video. And of course there's Ashiok in the sideboard that you don't need anymore. Um I don't think so, Zordon. What is what does the W stand for? Weekend? Like MCQW. Weekend? Okay. Is that is that this weekend? If it is, I'm I'm not actually if it is, I'm not qualified. Okay. So no, I'm not qualified. What will be good cards with roll at reversal? Uh, Fibble Thip is a good one for creature. You want a creature? You want creatures with the ETB effects? As far as that goes, you want. You know, basically, you want card any cards with ETB effects where you get the value out of them, and then they're they're not very valuable anymore, and you can give it to the opponent. You know, you, so like artifacts, like the golden egg kind of cards. Um, enchantments. Um, it's hard to play it with Oath of Kaya, but that kind of thing. All right, let's get the Fay of Wishes card style. Fay of Wishes. So we're one one away from Royal Scions. Which is what I wanted, so I went down the blue path. 
but we need four more levels until then. All right, I'm going to, before we get to match number four, I'm going to reset Arena. I know we've just played three matches, but these memory leak issues are so bad. And I just want to, I want to reset because you know, it's being a little slow with the reaction and stuff. Oh, there isn't going to be? Oh, Hippie, I was going to... I was. I wanted to build around that card, actually. Revenge of Ravens. I actually have an idea of a place to put Revenge of Ravens. Yeah, I did hit Mythic the last two months, but... The, the last two months, um, and in particular the last month, um, like right right before I dipped out of the top 1,200 and into the percents, right before, like last month, I was like ranked like number 20 two days before and then went on a losing streak and we ended up at like 97 or 98 percent or something like that. <laughs> I should have just stopped stopped playing ranked for two days and just taking that ranking I kind of I, I I honestly just didn't really realize that the that it was going to end and so I didn't I could have like after even after the stream that day I could have just you know played played extra matches like that night and then like the next morning like before the, the rankings but honestly I didn't I didn't realize that the ranking was about to end so I, I should have done that to get back in the top 1200 I realized that like during the stream it was like the season's over and I was like what <laughs> so yeah it feels bad so I didn't qualify so my, my hands not spectacular for this matchup with having uh, Having Tyrant Scorn Legion's End. Yeah, so that that uh, Revenge of Raven cards. Yeah, that's a four man enchantment. Perfect. I I have a Mardu enchantment, best of one deck. I've been working on it a little bit. Um, that I'm gonna that we're gonna play on Monday for best of one day Monday. We're gonna play Mardu Enchantments. That's gonna have that Revenge of Ravens card in it. So unfortunately they have the Legions or the, the Elder Spell. Sorry. Unfortunately they have the Elder Spell that can take out Liliana here. Need to draw another black source though. Uh, I don't. Let us march into battle. I don't. I don't really see Esper Dance as a playable deck, to be honest. Effective. The, the deck just does not. I don't think that deck's very good. I don't really know. I don't know. I don't. I don't have a very high opinion on that deck. So good thing they were playing a bunch of interplanar beacons, so they can't cast elder spell. Oh yeah, of course we're going to be playing captive audience. Of course. Ugin. Smelly, but effective. Draw card. I've 
learned much from your death. It's only got one black source, double steam vents. I was I was hoping it was two black sources. I am ancient and wise. How so disappointing. My plans do not include you. Up to A little surprised they did that, honestly, to turn on my Legion's End. That wasn't doing anything before. Too much life. Don't have lethal on them. I don't know if this is bad using the, the Midnight Reaper or not. What? Looks like you're they don't want me own. to draw a card, I guess. That's cool. Well, they got nothing in hand. They have the Chemist's Insight, though, if they want to use that. Looks like they do. They need to draw a Ritual of Soap, but even if they do, we at least draw four cards. Alright, got there. So, Disdainful Stroke, Negate, Dispute, Duress, Elder Spell. We'll take out Legions and enter the God Eternal. Probably take out Tyrant Scorn. Yep. Leaves us with 62. Hmm. What do we think about taking out Etrada the Silencer? Since they don't play creatures. Maybe we'll just cut two discoveries. I'm just going to cut the two discoveries. Etrata's probably kind of a little difficult for them to kill. Yeah. A little di difficult. Mulligan. Yeah. You can definitely main deck for Dispute. Inoko metagame for sure. We played a Jeskai control deck. I believe it was Jeskai. It was a donation deck that had four dispute in the main deck, and it was very good. I guess so. I hope they have tons of discard. 
<laughs> we got nothing over here. Hey Zoltan. I know eighty eight meditate and prepare. You know eighty eight meditate? I don't even know what that means. I have just the trick for this. Nope, we're not gonna miss our land drops. My Looks like my opponent may miss their land drops though. Before action. Was not prepared for this. Nice dress. <clears throat> I'm either taking drawn from dreams or fires of invention. I kind of want to just take Drawn from Dreams. Yeah. I don't have an answer to Fires on the Battlefield. Drawn from Dreams is how they can hit a lot more land drops. Open mind. Yep, just do exclamation point deck. I wish I had Thought Distortion. Uh, their last card was Bedevil. That hurts. I shall miss your company. Man, how amazing would Thought Distortion be just to exile your entire hand? That would be quite good. Trata vs. Bolas. Alright, they hit their land drops. <laughs> yeah. Nice counter spell. It's not going to work on Chandra. Correct. The, yeah, I, I, tokens can't be exiled with hit counters. Correct. That doesn't work. Go, Spectral Sailor, go. 
Yeah, there's Deckmaster should be up right now, Voodoo. As far as I know, it's up. Thief of Sanity is better than Etrata, but Thief, Thief dies to Ritual of Set. I don't want to overextend too much into Ritual of Set. Maybe I just need to play Thief. No. I guess Mystical Dispute's not very good against Fires of Invention, though. Just kind of my plan. against many foes like me. I have just the trick for this. I like the first game better when they didn't. Like the first game they didn't have fires invention. I like, I liked that game better. training. I would be pretty surprised if we win this. I'm at 21 Fires of Invention drawn from Dreams and Castle. Like, I, I don't... I'd be very surprised if we win this game. Thus having eight lands. Um, yeah, there's a trigger whenever it deals combat damage to a player, a trigger happens where you exile a creature they control, put a hit counter on it, and then you, you shuffle, you try to get shuffled back into your library. Alright, so we're definitely not winning. <clears throat> we were probably not winning. We were probably not winning, and that turned into definite not winning. with Fae of Wishes.
Can I draw on any of my other counter spells? <laughs> Why'd it have to be the no Mystical Dispute? Can you have been any of the other counter spells? Hey, good job, Rex. Good job. No, you have to exile a creature for the rest of that to happen. You don't you don't shuffle Etrata if you don't exile a creature. Cause like if there's no valid it's it's just like any other ability fizzling. You know, like it like let's say you murderous rider and you try to destroy something, and that thing leaves the battlefield, and, and the, so the rider fizzles, and it goes to your graveyard. You don't lose two life, because the rest of the spell didn't resolve. You, know, you had to have, like the you know you have to continue resolving the ability. All right, so we went two two with Demir Itrada. Not so bad. Not so bad. Um, I think we could have had a better time against the Grixis deck. I I should have mulliganed more. I should have gone to five game two, and I should have gone to six game three. I should have mulliganed more. Um, yeah, basically, I, you know, we have a lot of counter magic and discard and stuff like that in here, and I had nothing. I had nothing either game. They had turn four fires of invention both games. I had nothing to stop that, and I should have mulliganed my hands even more to find something to stop that, and I didn't, and we lost. But yeah, two two is not bad. You know, like our other loss was to Field of the Dead. So yeah, congratulations, we lost to Field of the Dead. You know, like that's yeah. So we're like th that deck's banned. So the against the decks that are not banned, we were two and one. So that's pretty good. Because yeah, I, I mean, like Field of the Dead is just gonna be difficult for us. But that's okay. Um, anyway, uh, pretty. It went pretty well. Um. A lot of good stuff with Demir Midrange. You know, like there's just a lot of good quality cards here. A lot of good, a lot of efficient cards in Demir Midrange. Um, we got to silence a few creatures. We got to silence Golos a couple of times, which was pretty sweet. We never got to win a game with the the three hit counters, which I ne I didn't expect to win a game like that. But we did actually get two hit counters, and I wasn't even expecting that. So that was pretty cool. So I'd have to say the first time playing Etrada ever was a success, I'd have to say. And yeah, yeah, the deck could yeah, the the Etrada is good against aggro as a four mana three five. But if you're building the best version of Demir Control, I don't think it will would include Etrada. But oh well. Uh good success here. Um so that finishes up the Tuesday Bruise Day stream. We didn't get to get to this deck uh last night. Um, because we ran out of time, but glad we played it again today because that was pretty sweet. All right, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, I hope you hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. I would appreciate both of those. But thanks so much for watching some Demiri Trata, and I'll see you for the next video.